Now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to set up a locations page on your Carrot website. The first thing you want to do is log into your Carrot account and then navigate to the dashboard of the particular site that you're wanting to set up a locations page for. Go ahead and go over to content and then you're going to see the different options pop up down here and what type of content you can add to your website. So this one we're going to add a locations page. So go ahead and click locations. You can see the ones that we have down here. Here's one that we have in, in progress right now. We're creating a new construction homes locations page. And here's the other ones that are there. We're just going to go ahead and click add new. Or if you have one that you like already that you want to duplicate, you can just go ahead and click duplicate. And you can duplicate one of your existing locations pages to kind of give you a head start if you want to. Well, let's go ahead and show how the duplication works in that respect. So I duplicated this page. And if I'm going to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and change the title of it to be for that new location, change the URL to be more for that new location, and then go edit my content. If you didn't want to duplicate the page, you want to start from scratch, I'm just going to go ahead and click add new. And the first thing you want to do is type in the title of the locations page that you're wanting to be here. And some quick tips on the title. The title should be something that is something that your prospect might be typing into Google if they're looking for the information you have. Here's an example. Okay. If you operate in a, a particular area, let's say it's Carmel, California, and let's say that you're um, in a, a, let's say Sacramento, California, and let's say you're just doing homes in all of Sacramento. Okay. I would type in this homes for sale. And I would look at what Google is suggesting to me based on what other people are searching. So you can see these suggestions pop up homes for sale, Sacramento river homes for sale, Sacramento, Curtis park. Let's say we're setting a locations page up for this particular part of Sacramento because it's very sought after. And it's something that people are actually looking for. And you can see there's different neighborhoods even within this area um, that, uh, that, that, that people are looking for. Curtis Park, uh, Curtis, Curtis Park and Village Brownstones and some other things. So we're just going to go ahead and go with that. Okay, we're going to create one for Curtis Park in this area. So let's go ahead and copy and paste that right in. I'm going to capitalize the, these just so they look better. Homes for sale. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put in. So make it, make it so it's more readable. Okay, Sacramento. Uh, put the state in there, and then we're just going to finish that up right there. So homes for sale in Sacramento, California, Curtis Park, right there. Okay, so that's that. And then once we do that, it makes the URL for us. As long as your title up here is good, the URL is going to be search engine optimized. You can see it's got the SEO um, keyword phrase in there, homes for sale in Sacramento, California, Curtis Park. So that's going to be really, really good for SEO. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a headline here. Okay, so some sort of a headline, make that a heading one. And this is why I suggest that you, that you emulate. If you already have a good locations page that you like, just go ahead and duplicate that one to give yourself a head start. If you're starting from scratch, so this is kind of the essential formula. Okay, so you're gonna have a headline in there. And we actually have a, a, a tutorial that shows you the ideal layout of a locations page. Just pull that up right next to this so you can see the flow of it. But there's the headline, and then there's about 200 words of written content here. You can add a video there if you want to. This content should have keyword phrases that are related to what you're looking to, to optimize for in Google. And the way that I like to do it is you just type in that phrase you're looking to rank for, scroll down to the bottom, and see if there's anything in here that's interesting. Curtis Park, Denver homes. It looks like that's not the right state. Uh, Curtis Park, Sacramento history. So there might be a little bit of stuff that you could put about the history in there. Um, Brownstones, the Brownstones, Curtis Park prices. This is an opportunity, too, to possibly do a locations page, particularly on the Brownstones neighborhood within Curtis Park. So these are some phrases you might want to work some, some in there. I'm, I'm going to work in the, the phrase Brownstones because uh, it's popping up quite a bit. Uh, homes for sale, land park, Sacramento. Okay, cool. So I would write some content here. I'd work in um, you know, some things like including the brownstones, villages, and other amazing parts of Curtis Park, then blah, 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 blah. Talk about your expertise. Talk about how they're going to see the properties below, things like that. Okay. Next, what you're going to do is now put in the IDX, uh, the IDX information here. Now, if you've gone through Carrot and we're actually setting this up for you, you will already have the IDX in there. You'll already have a headline in there. You'll need to create your own content in there um, if you're going through 
our quick start or our, our IDX setup process, okay? So that's gonna automatically put in the properties for Curtis Park if uh, our IDX solution has the ability to niche down by Curtis Park in your area. Oftentimes we're able to find really, really cool niches that the IDX system can niche down on, but not everything. So we'll do our best with what we have. The, lot, the next thing in here is you're gonna add in that part at the bottom where it's kind of the here's, here's us and here's why we work, okay? So let me go ahead and hop over here and check out one of these community pages right here. So why work with the G team or why work with your company, okay? So why work with whatever your company is, okay? So type a little bit here about why you work with, uh, why they should work with you, okay? Next, there's gonna be a form. So you would just go ahead and add form. Which form do you wanna add? Is it to add a specific form for a list that's specific to this, this locations page, or it could even be just getting in, uh, just to get in contact with you. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do, do this one. Let's contact Warren with that form, and uh, then we can wrap this page up. So that's the basics of it, is you will go ahead and put in the optimized keyword phrase in the title. You will go ahead and do that. Put in a headline here that has the, the phrase in there you're looking to rank for. About 200 words up here talking about the area. Put in your IDX listing, which is that's something that we're gonna do for you if we're setting IDX for you. And then a little section down here that is why do you why should you work with our company? Make that in a heading two uh, to make it stand out some more. About 100 to 150 words there. And then you'll put the call to action form at the bottom. The last thing you want to do is set your image. And the image that you choose there is what's going to show up right here. And you want to make sure it's a good striking photo, a good striking photo that looks great, especially on mobile devices. So when I did that, what I did is on that locations page, I clicked featured image. Okay, featured image. Let's go ahead and grab this one right here. Let's select it. And you can see now if I click publish, that's gonna be the image that shows up right here in the archives page. That is all there is to setting up the content of the locations page. There are some other options that you can do down here. You can put the call to action form at the bottom here. Uh, just, you know, questions about this property, whatever one that you wanna do. You can add a gallery. So that, that's something a lot of people have done is they've uploaded a bunch of great photos about that location. So they have an image gallery. That's a really cool option you can do as well. And then the thing that is really, really important is that your SEO title and your description down here dis descri describes really well what that page is for. So as an example, by default, we put in your title that you put up here as your SEO title, the search engine optimization title. But you wanna make sure that your keyword phrase you're looking to rank for what would someone type in Google if they're looking for homes in that area? That that's your SEO title, just like this. Homes for sale in Sacramento, California, Curtis Park, the G Team. And um, then you can go ahead and type a meta description there if you wanted to. Okay. And if you want to really go deep on our SEO tool, you could probably just take, um, take parts of this right here and put it in there. Uh, what I would do just for simplicity is just make sure that your SEO title is the phrase that someone would type into Google. And uh, just go ahead and publish and you can always optimize further from there.